Welcome to the Meet the Team Pod. Today we are with Mercedes, one of my very favorite uh, Jolly pros. Mercedes in our HVAC department. She's an HVAC service technician and one of the very best. So we're going to get to know her today. Mercedes, uh, just why don't we just start by telling us? Why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself? You know, personal life, about you know what you do for fun, family, all that sort of stuff. Um, personal. Um... I would say I have a lot of animals, um, so every day after work I have to go home, take care of my chickens, take care of my pig, uh, dogs, cats. I want to grow it, but it's pretty big right now, and HVAC is pretty steady, so we're just kind of holding off. All right, so this morning you were telling me about your pig. Oh, yeah. Tell us about what's going on there. So Mr. Hamlet is, he's a genius. Um, he gets out of the pen all the time, usually like every winter. So this time he got out again. He's down the road with the farm uh, with the cows. He thinks he's a cow. So he's in there living with the cows. <laughs> and he just keeps roaming up Shawhan Road every day, just meeting all the neighbors and then going back to the cows. <laughs> so d tell us about like your like where you live. Like is it like a kind of like a farm? You have a barn, you have like are the animals out in the barn or what what's it like? I have a few pens. Um, but I don't have like a big barn yet. Um, when we bought it, it was a foreclosure, but it, we have six acres, so it's really nice. Um, three is cut and then three is wooded around, so we have that privacy. Awesome. And then we're on like a back road. So down that back road, there's a lot of other farms and people around, so they love animals too, so they don't mind it. <laughs> so give us a breakdown of how many animals and each type of animal that you have. Oh man, so I got Mr. Hamlet, which is pot belly. Uh, Blitzen, he's a guinea pig. And then I have Romeo, he's indoor, outdoor cat. Mr. Cheeto, indoor. Max, Maya, those are my two German Shepherds. And then I have 13 chickens. Three of those are roosters. Do they have names? Oh, there's a lot. Not all of them, because some of them are mean, so I'm like... But I have, like, Lulu, he's a crazy rooster. Um, Big Mama, she lays most of my eggs. Roadrunner, she's, like, a fast... I don't know. She's really fast. Um, and then, of course, no, I already named them all. I think that's it. Yeah. Who's responsible for the names? Me. <laughs> that's impressive. And my little one, Riker, he's five. He likes to name them, too, so he enjoys it. Yeah, so tell us about Riker. Um, he's in school now, so he's in kindergarten. He loves it. When he first started, it was crazy because he couldn't color at all. And then, like, two days into school, he could color in the lines. Um, he loves animals. Um, his dad likes to hunt, but he does not like that. So me and him are kind of just like, no, you go do your thing. We don't like dead animals. <laughs> but he's really fun. Cool. All right, so let's get into um, talking about some HVAC. Yeah. So why don't you just give us your background on the trades, like how you got into it, you know, what attracted you to the trades, and your journey leading up to you working here at Jolly. So when I was younger – I didn't know anything about trades. Like, I didn't even know there was a heat and air unit in the house. You change a filter. I didn't know any of that. Um, I wanted to be like my grandpa and just go to the Navy, retire from the Navy, and then hopefully they pay for my schooling and be a veterinarian because I love animals. Um, when I went to the Navy, I had three knee surgeries prior, had my fourth during. So about 10 months, I was medical discharged, and then I was like, oh, no, what am I going to do? So I asked my mom, because I really didn't like warehouse work, didn't really want to pay and be in debt to go to school for so long for a veterinarian. Um, so she suggested HVAC. And then I went to Gateway for a little bit, and I was kind of getting thrown off by it. I didn't really like it, because it wasn't as much hands-on. It was just all in the book. So I applied at a company that did train uh, technicians, went there, Got my license through them and just did really great with it. Was really good with talking to people, meeting people, and loved helping people. And now I'm a little over five years in, and I love it. That's amazing. Yeah. You talk about how you love to help people. You know, I think that that's one of the things that we've noticed about you since you've been here. You know, customers love you. Absolutely yeah. love you. What What do you think it is that um, your with your approach? that allows you to have such loyal customers to you that just love you and request to have you back to their home like time and time again? I think it's just that personal connection with them. Like we always find something to relate with. I listen to them and we just have a good time every time I'm out there, whether that be you want to sit down and have some coffee, I'll make you lunch, 
whatever that may be, it's just amazing. It's a really good feeling. And just being there at the end of the day to either provide them with the heating, cooling, or options to better their home, comfort, air quality, whatever it may be. Very cool. It's really great. Very cool. I want to talk about being a female in the trades. Yeah. You know, um, it's one thing that I really hope for our company that we can attract more females uh, yeah. that want to be in the trades. I think um, I think it's a really special thing, you know, but it's no mystery that it's it's a bit of a rarity. You yeah. know, um, I think in the history of our company, we've only had four or five women um, in, a, in a position as a plumber or an HVAC tech. Which is know? pretty good. Most companies don't even get that. That's, yeah, that's and crazy. so I'm just curious, like, like what what's that like? What are the um, what are the challenges? What do you think are the benefits? Um, let's just talk a little bit about that. When I first started, it was kind of challenging because you know you're a young female going in there and they're thinking, "There's no way you know what you're doing." Um, but after you know you bring the customer with you, they see your process, they see what you do and what you can do. They get relieved, so then they trust you and everything works. And then you know me being in the trade for five years now now it just comes so naturally that they automatically feel that trust and i think being a female you get that trust anyways just because you're more genuine i should say a lot of times i'm very genuine so they feel that comfort and connection very cool yeah very cool and i would agree i mean i think that you have i already said it but you have like this tremendous ability to make a connection and we talk about trust a lot um, and with our system and you you're able to build trust like as good as anybody I've ever seen I absolutely yeah. love that about like the things that customers say when they call in to talk about you it's like they're talking about a relative like it's crazy I mean some of the best reviews that I've ever seen so I think that you do an amazing job with that yeah thank talk you. about um I'd like to talk about like our system that we train on our service system and like what parts of that service system that you think that you lean into most to like gain the trust of the customer Definitely the greet step. So, you know, am I parked okay? Making sure where I park is okay. Like not taking advantage of the driveway every time because that might be easiest. Because you never know when a vehicle might leak oil. I'm um, not saying that we don't maintain our vehicles, but that could happen. Or if somebody needs to leave and stuff like that, or somebody's coming and needs to be dropped off. So I just try to mostly park on the street and then ask. Um, and then asking the permission to come in and then just making that connection with how beautiful their home is or their new kitchen and stuff like that. Like, it's great. It's just nice to meet people and see their interest. And then knowing that a lot of people have the same interest as I do. That's awesome. Or things I can take home and do in my own house. It's pretty yep. cool. Yeah. And we see that personal connection that you make. We see that resonate in the Google reviews that you get. Like, right. It's great. So many Google reviews. You know? Then it just helps you keep going, you know? <laughs> it's great. But I want to talk about um, your experience here at Jolly. And just tell us about how long you've been here, um, what it's been like working here, what what have been some of your favorite things about working here, and those sort of things. So surprisingly, it's almost been a year. I feel like it's gone really, really fast, um, but I love it here. Um, everybody treats you like family. Everyone's there for you. It's really easy to just come in, be happy, be yourself, get along with everyone. Um, our trucks are always stocked. We have a great purchasing side. We always get what we need. Jolly's been pretty great, pretty reliable. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to leave here. <laughs> I, hope not. I hope you don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> it's great. Okay, so talk about like, um, yeah, just like what you see the industry, where you see the industry going, if you see any changes in the industry, some of the things that you've seen that have changed even since you've started. Is there anything like that? We're definitely growing. I like that. I see that we're getting a lot of more Jolly Home Plan members or people that just didn't know about us on the HVAC side, and that's great. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna kill it. I think we're gonna take all the customers. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Okay, so what is your like? A, what's a perfect day at work for you? Uh, like, what type of jobs are you? Do you prefer to go to? Um, you know, what type type of people do you prefer to interact with? You know, what's a perfect day look like in your world? Oh man, all people are great, but I really like the older couples. I really like um, like grandmas, grandpas because I miss mine, and I don't take that for granted ever like I just it's nice to be around those people and help them um, especially when let's say they have light bulbs out and they just can't get on ladders anymore and change those it's nice to help them or bring the trash up or bring the trash down or I mean bring the mail up bring the trash down stuff like that um, 
but I really like all customers. It's great to find to go to a call where they're not a member, just so you can talk about what Jolly offers and how great we are and how we can help them. Love it. That's yeah. great. Very cool. Okay, yeah. So talk about our membership. Um, like, what are the things about our membership that you like and that you see resonate with the customers that you talk to about it? Well, it's only fourteen ninety nine a month, and that's super convenient, super cheap, super reasonable. Um, and then we cover a lot of things. I can't wait till we do pick up electrician. Um, but I mean, we have plumbing, sewer, restoration, heating and air. It's everything your home needs. You can't go yeah. wrong with it. Think about your some of the craziest or most unique situations that you've ran into in the field. You know, I know that you guys see a lot of customers, a lot of homes, a lot of unique situations. Is there anything that sticks out as just a crazy one or a crazy story or an interesting interaction that you've had out there in the field, whether it was with us or when you were with a different company? Ah, <sighs> so there's been quite a bit um, here. I did meet a guy and his wife and I got, we got along so well. And then the last time I went there, I found out his wife passed and that was very devastating. You know, I was looking forward to seeing her. She had a new German Shepherd, a Husky mixed dog, and I was really excited to see her as well. And then I get there and it was just kind of like take it from him, from us. And that was really sad, but at least we made the call the best we could. Um, and he let me even drive his slingshot and it was pretty cool. Cause that's an expensive, you know, investment. And it's like, you're just gonna let me drive it. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then one time I was in a crawl space and it was dark and it was ran down, but I had to change the filter. And I go into there and I hear something and I stop and then I feel something. So I, pick up the plastic and the snake comes out and it's like Shh. so I like smack my head on the floor Joyce and got out like there's a bunch of snakes <laughs> oh, so it's been crazy <laughs> all right so crawl spaces you know all of us in the trades we've been in crawl spaces and it feels like everybody has there's at least something that somebody when they're in a crawl space everybody has that one thing that they hate whether it's snakes spiders different kind of yeah. bugs <laughs> raccoons whatever so when you're in a crawl space what's like the last thing that you want to see Snake. <laughs> I saw it the one time. Yeah. So what did you do? Did you get out of there quick? I did. I left. <laughs> I told him we got snakes. We got to get the snakes out. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. There was a few customers at a previous job I was at for a long time. And I lost all information for those customers. And I missed them a lot. But the other day I was going to a call and I passed one of my old customers' houses. So I immediately knew, like, I have to stop there and see her just in case I never see her again. So that's what I did, and she was tickled to death. And then we had a conversation for about 45 minutes. Um, I took her information, and she wants to be a part of Jolly now, and that's amazing. So now I can see her, and we can help her here instead of that's awesome. someone else helping her. Oh, man, that's a huge win. Yeah, it was such a huge win. <laughs> Super cool. That's great. Talk about some of the other, you know, crawl spaces. I don't know anybody who says that they just love crawl spaces, right? Uh, <laughs> What, are, what else is like that in your job that's just one of the most difficult parts of it, where you go to a job and you're like, man, this is going to be a challenging one? Oh, um, duct work. Duct work is challenging. Doing anything with duct work, just because it's thick metal that's hard to kind of shape or connect or like a 80% flue pipe. It's just really hard. I think that is the hardest thing for me. We talk a lot about um, you know, like products like the IAQ, indoor air quality yeah. type of um, type of products, Wi-Fi thermostats, those sort of things. What are some products that aren't necessarily a need for every single customer, but something that really benefits a customer, um, kind of like the IAQ or humidifiers or thermostats? What are some of the things that you're seeing in the industry that um, we're selling a lot of and that are really helping customers? Um, I think number one is the air scrubber just because I have one at my house and I have one at my mom's. My house, I just have it because of the animals going in and out, tracking dust, dirt, anything inside. It just cleans my air. And you can tell inside my house, like the dust and everything is clumping and falling. So it's a lot easier to sweep up. I have a really nice vacuum instead of dusting everywhere. And then my mom has asthma really bad. So she even has an inhaler. So when I got the air scrubber for her and put it in her house, she stopped having asthma attacks which I thought was amazing. Um, so I think it, it's really beneficial for anybody that just wants that cleaner air or does have underlying issues like asthma or 
severe allergies, something where you don't always have to have medication when you're at your house. Very cool. So I know a big part of our process is asking customers lifestyle questions where sometimes we'll learn things like that. They had asthma, they have a child with asthma. Talk about that process of our system um, and just how um, how you bring those things up and how you gain that trust, customer's trust to talk about things more than just, hey, here's my problem, here's my system, fix it. Just kind of ask them, like, how long have you lived here? Um, we kind of talk about their kids, like, let's, let's say that Oh, I got to, I'm just got back from dropping my kids off at daycare. So then we just start talking about their kids, um, maybe going around seeing the room, like trying to see if there's any hot spots or cold spots, if you have enough return air, supply air, stuff like that. So then just kind of, it just falls into place really with me. That's all I know. It just falls into place. Like we just start talking and they'll talk about their life and then we'll just start talking about questions like, well, do you have allergies? Does anyone in your home have allergies or suffer from asthma, anything like that. Very cool. Well, Mercedes, you are like, like I said, one of the very best here at gaining customers trust, building customer um, rapport with us. You get like more repeat customers, I think, than anybody where people call in and say, hey, I want Mercedes. You know, if it's a time that you're off or something's going on, you can't get there that day. They're like, we'll wait. We yeah. want Mercedes. No matter what, <laughs> we want Mercedes. Um, our sales guys say, that when they come into a house, if somebody needs a new system, they're like, it's pretty much already sold when Mercedes was there because the customer's like, well, Mercedes says I, I needed this and I trust her so much, I, I'm i in, you know? And right. um, your ability to like resonate just joy and happiness and energy and positivity, both to our customers and to us, it, internally is amazing and it's something that we absolutely love you for you said it earlier that you want to work here forever well we want you to work here forever too we, it's good. i want <laughs> you to retire here um, and i'm really looking forward to just working with you for a long time and just continuing to like even learn from you and for you to just show how awesome of an impact you can have in people's lives both internally as our employees and uh for our customers so thank you so much for everything you do you've been absolutely awesome in your first year here Thank you. Thank you for the chance to be here.